Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of FTL, it's me Tech, and let's continue where we left off. We're in the Lanius ship, and we're in the Zoltan Hogwarts. You arrive in Zoltan space. From what you have heard, they anticipated the coming war, and made preparations to hold their borders. Alright. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good start. Let's head back, actually. Head back. To the stress beacon, down to the store, and then we'll see what happens. With the senses down, you spend a good deal, good deal of time staring out the window. It is, you must admit, rather beautiful here. I love that. I love that bit of dialogue. Actually, I really do. Let's see what's that? This distress beacon. This distress beacon is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and the repair crew can't approach it without being fired upon. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Promise help. Let's use the iron weapon. Use your iron weapon to disable the gun long enough for the repair crews to fix it. They message you. I've never seen a weapon like that before. Thanks for your help. Please accept this reward. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's hit to this beacon. Ooh, okay. There is an ion star. A small rebel research station overlooks a pulsating star. Before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves in to attack. X. Alright. Okay. My friend. You are... Not welcome. So very not welcome. Let's take down their shields as well, actually. I know, I know, right? This is definitely a bit a bigger priority. X. Please go ahead and fix our oxygen. Oh, that's great. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. No can do it, my friend. Looks like... There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. We strip it of useful materials. So this is the first time we've actually had that, but... It's not actually uncommon... Uh, for... You to like kill all the crew in the ship and therefore win by default kind of thing. Especially if you starve them out by getting the oxygen system. A human ship hails. My friends, please, there is nothing I don't have and there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Ooh, more crew members. Very useful indeed. Hmm... Unfortunately, we don't even have the drone system, so like, we can't use any of these. Um, we definitely want to fix this. And then I'm thinking that we might actually want to use the crew teleporter. Let's just sell the combat drone, because we can't use them. Let's buy the crew teleporter. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. And then if we wanted to, we could also buy another crew member. Let's improve our power as well. Let's do that twice actually, just so that we can power our clone bay at all times. And you know... Okay. 
yeah, this is how it's gonna work out. We're gonna send out two Lineus members as the boarding party. And have you notch man the engine instead. Learn on the job. It'll be necessary. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon. The hail, this is a Zoltan peace convoy envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Let's settle them out. We continue. We take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but it's either beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. They finish. Please spread word of the enlightenment to those who that have not heard. Once you have, contact our brethren. They transmit the coordinates of the so-called brethren at a quest marker to our map. Interesting. As it is this just beacon. We have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. This is just beacon is active, but you're not sure if anyone is on board. Hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoltan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims that the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and powers up weapons. Alright. Nothing beats. Uh, good old morning... Uh, no, greeting salvo, you know? Nothing quite like it. I intensely dislike the fact that you can just keep hammering us like that. Okay, 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 I forgot. You come here. Stay here. You stay here. I, uh, maybe you should be upgrading our clone bay soon. Just as insurance. Zoltan ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. The refugee ship thanks you for your assistance. As a guest, show good goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. Smart choice. And let's save these positions. Let's just upgrade this. And just leave it like that. Yep. That seems to be fine. Let's head to the quest. Oh, I'll hit, make our way there. By the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. Alright. Let's have both of you come in here. Ooh, nice. We actually uh, killed them all. With the crew dead, you are able to take the fuel out of storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. Very nice. Might as well get you back. And let's jump to the quest. Who knows what this actually is. You arrive at the beacon, speci uh, the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan, but the only thing you find nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We find, we found you. You're not getting away this time. Let's attempt to hail them. They open communications. 
I can't imagine there's anything that you could say that you will save you. The, rebe the rebellion must destroy those that are so loyal to the obsolete federation. Oh my goodness. What is this? Let's try... Let's try going about with the Zoltan way. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of ideas without war. Our ideals are too different to be easy, so easily reconciled. You think this could end anyway but war? True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly all indications of a rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. I will personally assist. Yo, that's real cool. And you will go to our engines, my dude. Thank you for your service. Oh, that was cool. We actually got a quest done. You jump just in time to witness a Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In their final moments, they implore you not to get involved, but it's too late. The attacker is already upon you. How could we not get involved? You're not, you're not doing that. No, 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 no. Yikes. Okay, okay, sorry, you don't wanna you come here, you help him out, you yeah, you stay there. Oh yikes. Am I not as important as not Shh, go ahead, get in there. Let's see whether we can just kill them. I choke them out. Oh, nice. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. Gather what useful scrap remains. Very nice. We've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You find a small space station that appears to be abandoned. Let's move into examine. The station is in disarray. You find a functioning, you find a cloning bay partially intact, but nothing else seems to be functioning. Search for a surviving DNA bank. 
while the cloning facilities are no longer functioning. You find someone is in the queue to be cloned. You transfer the data to your combi and after a time, their body is rebuilt. The clone emerges into a crazed fantasy and fuses to calm down. You have no choice but to fight. Oh boy. Okay. Let's wait for our crew member to come back. These are our new stations, and should we be doing that? We can do it, we can afford it too. And I think we might, maybe that's the right course of action actually, because the next sector is rebel control. You'll have to be very cautious in this sector, the rebels have full control and are no doubt looking for you. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Take the necessary precautions. And let's... I mean, we still need to explore the sector though. It would be silly not to. Federation encrypted signals being broadcast from a nearby planet. Send an away party to investigate. You find a small cache of supplies that was surely left for any loyal Federation ships, ships in trouble. You take all that you need, leaving some for others to find. Very nice. Surprising, considering we're in this sector. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be with mass broadcasting requests for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall I respond? Yes. Great, I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is a days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. You can't afford to pay another carrier, but they'll surely tip you generously. Great, I uploaded their location to your star map. I'm running out of options, so I have no choice but to trust you'll do what you have agreed to do. Quest marker. Oh great, near our exit point. Perfect. Let's jump here though. See what this beacon holds. You enter a system bustling with rebel activity. Supply freighters and resupply stations are dwarfed by a few heavy warships. Luckily, no one seems to be paying attention to small cruisers. No ships are scanning or messaging you. Nice. Very quiet rebel sector. Surprise. Pleasantly surprised, of course. Okay, you find a rebel automated scout floating into this beacon despite its pristine condition, appears to be deactivated. Let's just script, let's, let's strip it for some scrap. You know what? Let's actually do that and increase our evasion chance by 5%. Seems more than worthwhile. We receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, there's nothing personal, but what under orders? The rebels ship's weapons go hot. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Alright. We'll just have to do this the old fashioned way. Very glad that we managed to that we decided to get the extra. Okay, repair crew, you're up. Okay, that's both our repair. That's both our who's down and I think nice the crew, with the crew dead you're able to take the fuel out of storage and take out the scrap you can manage hey that's not nice we beat you already let's head up here 
detect an automated ship near a ship or uh, detect a rebel automated ship nearby. <laughs> it does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long range sensor station. Let's try and beam directly onto the station and try to avoid detection. Once on board, your, Google, your crew is able to access and download the long range scanner's archive information. Your map has been updated. Ooh, stores up there. Hmm. To. I don't know what. I think we might need to prioritize the quest over the store right now. You arrive to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drivers are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Yes. Give them the fuel. Thank you so much. We don't have much to offer, but have a look at the sector scans we took. Maps updated. Uh, not very useful, unfortunately. You arrive at the location given to you by the merchant. You're supposed to deliver drone parts to a station here. You find the station and they respond to your hails immediately, saying, It took you long enough. We have practically no use for these now. I refuse to pay you full price. Take this and leave the cargo in our holds. Sure. You drop the parts off and take your pay. Unfortunate, but we don't need the drone parts, really. You come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a, ci a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Let's aid the ship. Uh, yeah, sure. Very convenient that our two guys don't actually require any oxygen. Very, very convenient indeed. Seems that this should be an easy fight. But we'll see. I, th I mean, yeah, I don't think it can actually damage us. Whoa, its self repair is so strong that it can just do that? Okay, you need to go come back here. Alright, and now you guys need to come back. I'm not losing you to simple carelessness. Thank you very much. The ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. The civilian ship wisely made a fast retreat while you distracted the hostile one. Ungrateful, but fair enough. We've arrived at the long range beacon. The number of ships stationed around the rest stop. You immediately receive a message saying, If you're looking for some bodies to fill your ship, you've come to the right place. We don't need to have anyone. We are already full, as Texas. Ooh, either the abandoned sector or the abandoned sector, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it doesn't matter, obviously. This sector has been largely abandoned since a series of battles decimated the local population. An unusual alien race is reportedly scavenging the area. You'd best be on guard. And we will in the next episode of FTL. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more daily content. Leave a like on the video if you did. And comment down below. I'll catch you all next time. See ya.